Hey everybody, start your week off right with us on Level Up, Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern on the YouTube Fun Astrology channel. We're focusing on bringing prosperity of all kinds into our lives. And to that end, I created a 30-minute meditation to help you open yourself to prosperity. It's one of the biggest reasons we don't attract more into our lives. We block it at the door. Go to HighTimelineBooks.com to download your Catherine Ponder Open to Prosperity Meditation today. TGI Friday, everybody. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for getting through the week with us. Thank you for walking through each of these days. And thank you to our contributors, Jenny on Tuesday, Elisa yesterday, and then Kristen's going to join us here in a few minutes. But boy, do we have, this is a day that I saw the spaghetti in the middle of the chart today. If you have the aspects set on your chart and you look at today, you are looking at a, wow, quite a conglomeration of stuff. And the one thing we have today that is just a today and tomorrow thing is a yod. Mentioned this the other day, but Venus is up at the top. Now, remember, the yod is a configuration that just has a lot of mystery and mystique about it, perhaps because it's named after the 10th letter in the Hebrew alphabet. I don't know. It's pronounced yod if you're doing that. Somehow astrologers from uh, southern Alabama, I guess, got a hold of it, and they said yod, and it just stuck. I, think I have no idea. But, <laughs> but anyway, it is a configuration of mystery and mystique and fate. With yods, it's like you're going to encounter some destiny along your life's path. Now, as we interpret them here in this kind of interpretation of just looking at the day-to-day, that I think that they show us signposts of what might be ahead energetically. So the configuration is at the base are two planets that are separated by 60 degrees. And then there's a tall pyramid, like they call it the witch's hat. It's a tall, skinny triangle. And at the top is the pinnacle or point planet. So in this Yod configuration, we have Venus up at the top and Neptune and Uranus at the bottom. Did we mention there might be some surprises in store for us in the future? <laughs> At least the sky is indicating. And certainly, we have had our share. We've had some this week already, and there are probably more ahead. And I think that's what this yacht is showing us, is there is. And see, look, Neptune and Venus are there, and Venus is at home in Libra. And it's in the later degrees of Libra. And the other base planet, Uranus, is in Taurus, also ruled by Venus. So Venus has a big seat in this yod, and it's also up at the top. So it is the strongest shouter out of the energy. And I think this is great, because if these surprises and the shifts that are going on spiritually, Neptune and the later degrees of Pisces, are disconcerting or fearful or disrupting for you, I think some of this yacht is saying, yeah, there are going to be some surprises, but boy, they are going to be for our all collective good. Because on top of this yacht is the kite that we've been talking about all week. That's a big configuration of all positive connections and basically has the same theme. Yes, there's transformation going on. Yes, it's going to be for our good. Hold the fort. Be the change. Be the one who says, we can get through this together, and we are going to be in higher, better ground once we do. Now, speaking of more energy for the rest of this week, let's check in with Kristen because we have a loaded up day on Sunday. Hi, Thomas and Fun Astrology Podcast listeners. I'm excited to be here today to talk about the astrology for Sunday, September 22nd. This is a busy astrological day. The sun and Venus change signs, and right before both of their sign shifts, they are in aspects to Pluto. A double trigger, if you will. One positive aspect with a trine from the sun, and one challenging aspect with a square from Venus. A mixed bag of energy that can show that there might be one storyline in your life that's moving with ease and another that is requiring more of your attention. The challenging aspect to Pluto is from Venus, which is the planet of love, pleasure, and money. So this can show that there may need to be some action taken into the way you're giving these things power in your life. 
Pluto is all about transformation and having to tear down a foundation before better groundwork can be laid. Now let's talk about the sign changes themselves. At 8.44 a.m. Eastern, the sun will move into Libra, which indicates the vernal equinox. So happy equinox day! This means that there is an equal amount of time split between day and night, which is the perfect representation of the balancing of Libra. The sun is now under rulership of Venus, the other planet making a sign change. At 10.36 p.m. Eastern, Venus moves into Scorpio, where it will remain until October 17th. When looking into ancient rulership, Venus is under the rulership of Mars now. Mars will be in Cancer for Venus's full Scorpio transit, meaning that they're positively trining each other, both being in water signs. Venus energy in Scorpio is a lot about embracing the deep and dark depths of beauty, for this is the most emotionally intimate sign and planet combination. So for these next few weeks, be looking for all the alluring deepness that love can bring. Much love to you all. Talk soon. Wow, great analysis, Kristen. Thank you so much. And my ears heard Venus over and over and over. We are definitely entering into this Venusian territory as it will be Libra season Sunday, as she mentioned. And what has been our theme of the week? It's been self-care, right? So self-care of you, loving you first. You can't love others until you love yourself. That is so much the focus right now. And we also have tomorrow one other thing. We have a square aspect. It's early in the morning. It's Mercury and Jupiter. Jupiter expands. Mercury, communication, square, tension. Be careful what you say this weekend. Look, just game on through Sunday. And then Monday we can go, ah, and we will collectively. I'll see you back then. No Merriman tomorrow. They're having a big conference in Europe, so I will see you back here on Monday. Level up Sunday night if you'd like to join us for our weekly meditation talking about prosperity. It's on the Fun Astrology YouTube podcast channel. See you then. Bye-bye.